episode, we finished the second era. So let's sort out a tutorial and let's play Ruse. I'm going to take a guess now. We are going to wake up in a dry and barren wasteland. Come on. Woohoo, I was right. Welcome to the third era. You can always press the question mark button for extra info. Press the next button. That was helpful. You have awakened from your slumber and surprise you find yourself dry and barren. That's how I always wake up the in the morning. Uh, okay, the third time. You recall a time when humans walked to the surface and wielded the food and wealth you gave them to, buy, to build villages and start important projects. Well, I don't think the shrine was that important. Uh, okay, next. There we go. Let's get those giants up. Ooh, a swamp giant. You have been given control of the swamp giant to create swamps. Well, what else would you do? Use the swamp giant and the ocean giant to create a swamp of at least 13 patches. I could make more swamps if I build another ocean here. Like if I build one over here, then I could make all this a swamp, but right now I don't really want to do that. So let's make a swamp of 13 patches. Woohoo! Swamp area! There we go. Swamp! Okay, next. Uh, your swamp giant has gained a new ability. Guess what? It's uh, herbs. Uh, put those right over here. That should make sure the village cr uh, spawns on this location. But anyway, we've also gained a nomad marker here. This will become pretty important very, very soon. But there's a nomad. He's never walking very far from, from the place he spawns. So there we go. Well done. The humans have settled once again. The herbs you made produce technology. The peppermints. We've placed peppermints. So that's how peppermints look like. I've never seen those in real life. Uh, okay, providing much with seven technology. New technology and use will slowly rise to seven out of seven. The spirit of the villagers have allowed you to regain some of your strength. The ocean giant has gained a new ability. The ocean giant has gained the growth aspect ability. Aspect abilities allow you to upgrade individual plants, animals, or minerals. That they do. Select the growth aspect and cut on the patch of herbs you just placed. So basically, this will give food. So this should make our peppermint create both technology and food. However, you are kind of limited in, uh, in what aspects you can do, so I can't spam aspects on that same plant. It has one lesser growth aspect and that is it. You will notice the aspect appearing in the patch panel in the upper right corner. And you can see the growth uh, has added extra food to your peppermints. All giants have aspect abilities which can upgrade plants, animals, or minerals. But you sense there is more. The aspect you place has kindled a transmutation within the herbs. So now it's, it's where things get tricky, because now we can transmute those to tomatoes. You can also see what uh, requires that. So if we get a lesser toxic aspect, we can uh, get a marshmallow which has a different uh, ability. It gives food and natura. Click on the patch of herbs and view the patch panel to see... Yeah, we could transform it into... Oh, we shall click that. So we transmuted those into tomatoes. Now those have another symbiosis, which gives more tech for each food on this patch. So, okay, we've done that. Next. Well done! Aspects can also be used to t transmute plants, animals and minerals into more powerful variants. We also gain a new aspect, so I could make a new uh, growth aspect here. I could also do something else if I gained another aspect. Don't forget that these tomatoes also have a new symbiosis. Uh, you can see this can sometimes trigger chain reactions, where you think something is a great idea to make, and then you, you upgrade it, and suddenly you produce way less resources than before, because you destroy the particular symbiosis. 
Uh, by using the cloud transportation as abuses, you can complex projects with ease. Yes. You can also mess the game up really badly with ease. The project. The virtual sort of school project. That sounds a bit silly. It seems the villagers demand this project to be finished within a certain amount of time. They did that before too, but they are giving me way less time this time. So this is the village bit. That is the school bit. Are they the... Uh, and they're giving me 14 minutes. Well, 15. They need 15 food and uh, 15 tech in use. How will we do that? Well, of course, we'll place more herbs. Herbs, I don't know how you pronounce that properly. I think you don't spell the H, so uh, that's that. Well, let's have a timer here. Of course I didn't. So uh, let's reset this. It'll probably be a bit longer episode anyway. So we are going up to to twelve. Okay. So how much tech do those give? Those don't give that much tech. Well, they give seven tech. So if I transmute this too, that should actually. Okay, now this will make the village grow quick, quite fast. There we go. So this project should be done in time. Sometimes you need to speed up the resource growth because otherwise the, the resource will not reach the, this required growth in time for the project to finish. Oh, by the way, what can they do? They gain plus two food and two tech for each tomato within borders. Well, that's uh, convenient. By the way, the specialization is active while the project is built already. I think. Yeah, they, they gain something else after that as well. Yeah, quite sure they do. Okay, click the project and see how much time you have left. We have 12 minutes left. Don't forget to tap space. I don't need to. Use your drives to create the project. Well, we did that. So, one more. Yeah, it grows up there because we can have more. There we go, it's finished. And we've unlocked an achievement. And a swamp ambassador. And an empty thing. New abilities are unlocked by picking up required ambassadors. So you can see which is unlocked here. So if I sent the Swamp Giant, Swamp Giant, to get this ambassador, he would gain the toxic aspect. Which would of course give me the toxic aspect. Okay, pick up the ambassador selecting. I think I want the toxic aspect. Okay, we've gained the, the ambassador. Well done! Completing projects will reward you with ambassadors, who in return will upgrade your giants. Now you will learn about prosperity. Learn about prosperity. Prosperity is the total amount of food in use, wealth in use, and technology in use. For all villages on the planet summed together. I think it shows here. Yeah, upper left corner. So that's this. It's essentially your score. Villages also have a village prosperity, which is the total amount of prosperity for the village. So, in that case, it would be 37 right now, and it goes up to uh, 32, uh, 42. In order for the new village to settle, you must fill the prosperity bar, which is this one here, which you can view in the upper left corner. You sense a rumble beneath your surface. That's never a good thing. Oh, I'm a planet, that's a good thing. Because now we have a forest giant. Using the fruit plant ability in the swamp result in different plants. That it does. Use all your giants to raise the prosperity bar above 60. Pay close attention to the prosperity bar in the upper left corner. Make good use of the project specialization to do this. I also want the fruit plant here. We'll see what it gives me. We get elderberries. I'm not sure what those are in German, so uh, screw that. 
Also with domestic animals here. And you kind of need more than one village to gain a very, very high prosperity and to, to make a good score, basically. So yeah, those have uh, give more food and natural if they are next to an animal, which we just did. I could also make a domestic animal happen over here, which I'll try out next. But I think the village will grow. So this, this uh, basically... Uh, kind of half barren section of the of the map. I think this grows as the village does, so uh, at least sometimes. So you also lose a bit here and there. Let's put domestic animals over here too. Oh, actually no, we'll get to 60 soon enough, so let's, let's not do that. Also have those other markers here. We have a greed marker which will... Uh, well, it, it will be important. Uh, we have this uh, army strength and the defense strength, which is also quite important. Although you can't really influence that. It will grow on its own and uh, eventually villages will seek trouble. And yeah, this is the danger meter, which is something that helps you prevent them from seeking trouble. Because if you put a village into enough danger, it's, it's also... It's a lot of balancing in this game. So, uh, for example, you can have a village or will you can have a resource grow very fast and have a village go greedy but then you can all you can balance that out by putting the village in danger like making some really 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 strong creature next to it so if they are living next to a tyrannosaurus for example they will think more about killing that than they will think about killing the village over there which is not there yet so you get my point. I also want a forest over here. Uh, of course, if you overdo it, the village will be eventually uh, wiped out. So they, they will eventually uh, either try to uh, destroy whatever is endangering them, or they will, uh, they will just die out. Uh, both of those options are not good. Because they will cost you the village essentially. Uh, sometimes that is also uh, a project requirement by the way, sometimes you, a project wants you to destroy a certain village in order to complete and then you, you kind of have to pick what you want. Do you want this project which will potentially unlock an achievement and get you something new further online or do you want to keep that village alive? Uh, sometimes you don't get that choice and the village gets destroyed by something else entirely. Because villagers don't just... They don't just fight for the fun of it. They actually go and uh, completely eradicate their neighbors. Not just looting, they completely wipe them off the map. Okay, did that reach it now? No, not yet. Well, I think we can afford to put those animals there now. I just didn't want it to grow too fast. Okay, we have frogs. Isn't that lovely? Insect eater, and it gains more food if it's next to an elderberry. Which it happens to be. Wonderful. So yeah, frogs can become iguanas, which have danger if it's next to a mineral. Well done, a nomad is about to spawn. In order to settle, the new nomad will also acquire a habitable area with some animals, plants, or mines nearby. So they don't just they don't just grow on, on trees. They have to have a certain thing. Well, you took away my ability to make those. Use the forest. We have that. Ooh, this one trying to unlock the exotic animals ability. Use that to make some exotic animals happen. We'll do that. Right here. Now exotic animals give wealth, whereas normal domestic animals give food. So you see those uh, sardines, or what it was, uh, mackerels, not sardines. And they give food and can do quite a lot of it. And those give wealth. Now as it happens, those exotic animals also usually upgrade to more dangerous animals later on, so you can use exotic animals a bit better, in my opinion, to uh, 
and danger place. Okay, so anyway, now we have stoats. Use that to create animals. We did that. Well done, you have created stoats. You sense a nomad roaming the surface in search of a stoat. Looks like a weasel. Or something like that. Might just be a weasel. Well done, a new village has spawned. Villagers always spawn near habitable areas with plants, animals, or minerals placed nearby. Check the symbiosis. Let's see what it has. Plus two wealth, there is a mineral within animal range. You sense a rumble beneath your surface. Who could that be? Of course, it's the rock giant, because now we have all four giants. We only have four. Uh, okay, the rock giants uh, use that to create a symbiosis, so we need minerals. Right there. Uh, sometimes it's also good to place them outside the borders, so uh, the villager only get a bit of a bonus. Stoats and a guard work together to uh, thanks to their symbiosis, yeah. Do you remember Bluebells working well with chickens? Yeah, but you took away my chicken making ability. Blueberries also have some years with work well with other plants. Use the fruit plant ability of the uh, fruit giants to uh, place some blueberries in the forest. We'll do that here. So yeah, sometimes it's a good idea to place an item just outside the borders. So uh, once the village grows, and it's it's of course a bit wealthy here, uh, it encompasses that additional resource and keeps growing, and you just generate a slower progression that way. Okay, select the ruby and check symbiosis and transmutation tabs in the upper right corner. So we can make an apple tree out of that. Blueberries can transmute into strawberries with a leaf aspect. Use your forest leaf aspect to turn them into strawberries. Well, we'll do that. Okay, let's have a uh, strawberry then. Placing blueberries next to strawberries will create symbiosis for both the blueberry and the strawberry. Okay, let's do that then. Let's place it here. Oh wow, that's a lot of food. That is a lot of food. Okay, before I continue, don't forget you can always pause the game. Okay, we've gained a project here. This will uh, give tech for each food and borders, and that's rather nasty. Look at that! Like, this is bound to get greedy, which is, of course, the point of this. So, they're getting a crap load of technology. I can't really do anything about it. Uh, we will not do anything about this. Now see if you can complete this project. Well, we obviously can. We pretty much have already. And thanks to the... Yeah, Greed Express. Haha, <laughs> thank you, game. Thank you very much, game. Uh, I think that's only a specialization you get in the, t in the uh, tutorial. For obvious reasons, I should say. Okay. Let's actually give the uh, giant something to do here. Get me another ocean here. Do want an island? Actually, no. Let's let's go thirteen away from. Oh, I didn't. I don't have an a, a, a desert yet. I also can't speak. Apparently. So you can see uh, this little bar is filling up now. The shrine is complete, and ambassador wants to join you. Let's put him. Your specialization has caused the village to become extremely prosperous. Witness how their resources are growing. Yeah, I did. I'm not happy. So I can't pick this one up because uh, other giants don't have as many ambassadors. As a result of their huge growth, your village has become extremely greedy. Be sure to tap space and pause so you can... Oh, unpause. Yeah, they're, they're attacking now. So let's actually pick up this uh, giant here. I don't want this giant. Yeah, let's pick this one. So, let's check the village panel here, and yeah, there you see, uh, it's getting greedy, and they're attacking each other. 
Are they attacking? They are attacking each other here. Yeah, so there's the army. Um, this ocean is not going to be a problem for them, because as I said, everybody here can create boats. Quite a magnificent one too. And yeah, the place falls into chaos now. Mostly this one. Oh wow, complete greed. Uh, once they get to this point, they will often attack your giants as well. So the only thing you can do at this point is wipe them out. Because the giants can die, and if one dies, you kind of lose the game. Because you can't do anything anymore. Okay, so yeah, those guys... You see, they are now training an army again. And we are having a fight here. This village is defending. They successfully defended, which is something you don't want to happen too often as well. Did I just add another minute? No. Uh, so yeah, that's uh, something that happens. So those guys lost the war. But they're, they're willing to try again. They're thinking about something a while, and they, uh, they start to want more from the giants. Which is very, very, very bad. The new greedy village is beyond saving them. Destroy them. Use your rock giant or swamp giant's abilities to attack the village. Now we could use muck bombs or we could use earthquakes. I'm going to earthquake them because that is just quicker. You can also use that to destroy uh, those because they also have health. Like every everything you place has health. Greenock has been destroyed. We did not have a choice there. I shouldn't have built that uh, shrine thing. Well done. One village to tall and strong, while the other's greed led to its own destruction. Achieve new developments by having the villagers develop in different directions. In doing so, you will unlock new plants, animals, minerals and projects. Maybe one day, the humans will be able to take care of you while you slumber. Click to continue and to view all new achieved developments during this game. Complete developments to unlock new plants, animals... You, you, you like saying that, don't you? So back to menu. This was the tutorial for Roos. I really should say that less. Uh, and the next time we will uh, go and unlock stuff. So we have this. Uh, as I showed you, I've wiped all the progress. So we are back here. Uh, we have challenges now. I think we had those earlier as well. Uh huh. Yeah, we'll we'll not go for the challenges. We'll go for a few regular eras, like one or two maybe. Uh, just a quick thing here, we can do 30, 60 and 120 minute eras. Right now we can only do 30 minutes and that is a perfect size for a let's play actually. So I'll do that, I'll probably cut this into two episodes and maybe even uh, release them next week. Uh, we'll see about that. Uh, I'll also... Uh, Maybe I'll do like one of each length and then uh, call it the game and then maybe if you really want me to, to play more of that I will do that but I would probably go back to play for Wesnoff then and then I'll see what else I can play. So I hope you liked it that far. Uh, that's Roost for you. It's a wonderful game. It's it's a few years old actually. Not too many. It's, it's fairly recent. Um... I like the art, I, li I really like what they did with the game, and uh, it was one of those games that uh, I actually discovered via Let's Plays, and uh, it just, again, shows how Let's Plays don't destroy the gaming industry, because uh, people like me watch Let's Plays, and if your game is good, and I think, hey, that's something I could enjoy, I will actually buy it. Uh, anyway, that's it for this week. Uh, now I get to upload all this. Okay, it's three videos. I hope they are recorded properly. I should have checked that, actually. Uh, until next time. Bye.